Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Kim the Savage with another segment of My My Mondays. And on today's segment of My My Mondays, what I just want to talk about is, of course, I've been reading this book, The Seven Habits of a Highly Effective People. And this weekend, I was reading a topic on it, a few pages on it, and it was a topic that just spoke to me. And the topic was basically talking about how, like, and with friendships and how we develop relationships, it's like depositing your friendship and your and your relationship and deposits and making withdrawals and and that's how it compares itself to a banking account and that really hit me this weekend because i had some accounts this weekend where i felt like i sh i didn't make the worthy deposits to a close close family member and i had to backtrack and i had to apologize which was one thing that this book actually spoke on and i had to say my apologies but i said it before i actually even read the page which was good because after i seen it I was like, wow, like this was speaking to what I had going on right then and there at that event. And so I don't want to talk about the apology so much, but I want to talk about he had like six principles of, or well, six ways how you can make deposits. So if you just bear, if y'all just bear with me on this topic, I will be going through, flipping through some pages just to let y'all know uh, the six principles because I can't remember them off the head. I remember a few, but I still just want to go over them. But like I said, uh, the seven habits of highly effective people, um, and he talked about how friendships and relationships like are similar to deposits or a banking account, and how there's six deposits. And so, like to me, that's important because it does not necessarily tell you how to create friendships or relationships. It tell you how to sustain relationships, which I think sometimes us as human beings, we don't even acknowledge. Or we don't talk about that, how we are supposed to, or ways how we can sustain relationships as far as like doing certain things. And so, like I said, I'm about to go over a few of these, uh, the, uh, the six withdrawals. So like I said, I'm going over. So the first withdrawal is just understanding the individual. Like how he said, like how this, how this uh, one guy, how he, just, how he didn't like baseball, but he took his son on a trip for six months, I mean, for a month of just watching nothing but baseball games. Like he said, he didn't like it, but it was meant for his son because his son liked baseball. And so that built it up a certain bond between him and his son because like it was able to him to spend time with his son to do the things that his son liked to do. And I think that us all as individuals, like even we with a significant other or you with your brother or your sister or even your your, your, your friends, like you could just find something that they like to do and just understand them and just spend that little bit of time of doing something they like to do. You don't gotta always do what you like to do. Like, hey, maybe your friend don't like to go out to eat all the time. Maybe they just wanna have a nice meal together. Or hey, your girlfriend might not wanna go to a, a baseball game or a football game or something like that. But hey, let's go ahead and get your feet done together. That's those, that's those things. And then the next one actually goes hand in hand with it. It's just, in, attending attending to the little things like he like he said with his son he basically had a had an event where he took his son out somewhere and it that was the big moment but it was something so small that he didn't I, I guess it was cold outside and he was basically saying he, his son was upset because he didn't give him the coat he thought his son was was good and one of the things he said about that was Everyone is sensitive. Even the strongest person in the world is sensitive in their own ways. And that's true. Like, maybe they might not show it, but everybody has certain emotions or certain events that trigger us. It might trigger us in a different way, but we all have certain events and certain things that trigger us. Even the little things that like we all have pet peeves. I know I have mine. I know my. I know the person who's filming this have this. And sometimes you just got to know the little things. I know particularly when you're in a relationship with a female, you got to attend to the little things because if not... It might not be big to you, but things do get blown out of proportion. And um, the next one, this is a big one, keeping commitments. If you say you're going to do something, do it just straight up. Like, whatever you say you're going to stand by, just make sure you stand by that. And also, he also said something of the nature. I think this is what he said about it. Might be the next one. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's one of the other, I mean, uh, other deposits. But the next one is clarifying expectations. Just knowing your role. Like, I know, like, a lot of times, like, with us, like, with relationships with females or, like, the expectations sometimes, 
Like sometimes, like you gotta let the female know, like, hey, we not gonna be together. It's just, like you said, it's just sex. It's just plutonic. Nothing else. So there's less of an expectation. Like I'd rather for someone to be direct with me and allow me to understand what my role is, than for me not to understand that or be back and forth between my roles and expectations. So just just be honest with people. Let them know, like, hey, this is what it is, and that's and that's simple. Because if not. People gonna get conflicted and then you're gonna bump heads. Uh what's this? The fourth topic, the fourth uh deposit. Showing personal integrity. He said that um this was this was something that was pretty deep. He said honesty is telling telling the truth and conforming our words to reality. Integrity is conforming our conforming our reality to words. So basically just you just, you just, you know, you can be honest and stuff about that, but you gotta act upon your, act upon what you say. You don't just always say this and say this. But if you're not going to stand by and act upon what you do, then do it really matter? Like, or if that's really a deposit in your friendship. Act upon the things you stand for. All right, I'm, I'm coming down to the last few. Um, apologizing. I did just say that one. Like I said, that's apologizing. It's understanding. Like, hey. I made a mistake, but he also said this. It's one thing to apologize frequently because because then it don't seem as genuine. Under, like take the time sometimes to understand what you did and just basically apologize. Like understanding that you you hurt someone and why you hurt them and understanding their emotions. And those and those are the uh, are the six deposits. Like I said, the good, my favorite part about that, uh, about those deposits and about that section of the book was just like, like I said, like this understanding, like the importance of sustaining relationship. Like sometimes our actions, we might not know it, but we might be trying to think we, we keeping someone around. But in reality, I had to learn this the hard way. We're pushing them away. Like one of my uh, favorite lines of like uh, in a song was, uh, Jagged edge walk out walk out of heaven where he said if I continue to push you just pull away like sometimes you gotta understand like giving your all to someone might not necessarily be the necess necessary step giving your all might be understanding them taking the time to learn them as an individual giving them that space but also being able to acknowledge your your mistakes but showing yourself as a good person in this being able to willing to make those deposits and that's all i just want to talk about y'all don't don't make withdrawals don't spend less time with somebody don't i mean i'm saying don't but try to listen to your significant other try to listen to your friend try to listen to your family members try to do things that they like to do just to keep that, that relationship that's to make those deposits instead of those withdrawals and like some people try to say like i don't understand why this person is with this person well, in reality, this person has made so many deposits in their life that until that balance runs out, which we don't know everybody's internal balance with someone, but until that balance runs out, they probably won't, you know, they probably won't leave that person. So let's understand that everybody has, has, has a balance with everybody. I know I got balance with people. Some people balances are short and some people balances are high. Is just how much they was willing to deposit them in our friendship and our relationship and how much they was willing to withdraw. Some people withdraw a lot and to the point, right? I gotta go to a new banking account. And sometimes people and sometimes people um deposit so much that that banking account is 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 so high that I don't I don't see the necessary measures of this with this going to another banking account yet. And I know it's the same way for me. I know some people got quick a quick leash on me because I didn't and I acknowledge this now that I always didn't make the necessary deposits, and maybe I didn't put in. I, I didn't put in a lot, but I didn't take out a lot. But I took out even if it was a balance of twenty dollars, I probably took out thirty, and so they had to move on. And so I'm just understanding that now. That's why I'm reading this book, and so I'm just appreciative of of that section because every time I get to read something, it speaks to me, and this section spoke to me highly extremely highly and I just want to acknowledge that and so with that being said y'all this is Kim Lissite on another segment of My Mind Mondays.